Hey, hello and welcome to all my loving students out there. Welcome to 8th standard and I am Raji Pillai. We will be learning maths together. Okay, ah, so let us begin with the first chapter. Now, maths means let us first start with the type of numbers. Oh, okay, so you already know about certain types of number. This is just a revision or just an introduction into the world of maths in your 8th standard. You have to maintain a 200 pages notebook or long book. That is your choice. Okay. So as we discuss, we will be solving sums together. Two or three sums I may give you as homework. Okay. That you can try depending upon the previous sums. Okay. So with a positive note, let us start our 8th standard journey together. The first chapter that we are going to deal is rational and irrational numbers. Give the name of the chapter. Rational and irrational numbers. Before getting into rational and irrational numbers, let us discuss, quickly let us discuss the types of numbers which we already know. To begin with, any counting numbers. Always we start counting from 1. Okay, correct. Yeah, you also said the same thing. I also said the same thing. Imagine yourself to be in your classroom along with me and as I put up some questions, you have to respond it there. Okay, I'll come to know that you are responding. Okay, ah, so counting numbers start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So on. All these counting numbers are called as Natural numbers. Natural numbers. Natural numbers are denoted by symbol capital N. Counting numbers are natural numbers and they are denoted by the symbol N. Counting numbers are starting with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. After counting numbers or after natural numbers, the next type of numbers are if you begin with 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Only positive numbers I am talking about. If you begin with 0, such this set of numbers are called as whole numbers. Okay, we know about all these things. These are whole numbers. Whole numbers start with 0 and natural numbers start with 1. Only that is the difference. Okay, so whole numbers over, natural numbers over. These are positive numbers. If you are including the whole numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. And the opposite of these numbers. The opposite of 1 is minus 1. Opposite of 2 is minus 2. Opposite of 3 is minus 3. That means if you are starting with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 whole numbers. Along with whole numbers, if you are including the negative numbers, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and so on. These numbers are called as, yes, I heard it. These are called as integers. Integers. Natural numbers are counting numbers. Whole numbers, 0 and natural numbers. Integers are negative as well as positive numbers. Negative numbers here, positive numbers here along with 0. They are called as, they are called as integers. Whole numbers, the symbol is capital W. And for integers, you use the symbol as I. Okay, so quickly, what did we revise? We just had a revision of types of numbers, natural, whole numbers and integers. Okay, okay. Now let us come into the main topic which is rational numbers. First we will discuss rational numbers. Later on we will take the irrational numbers. What are rational numbers? I will straight away start with an example. If I give you a number of this form 4 upon 5. This is a fraction, fraction form. This number which is in fraction form or I can call it as ratio also. This number I will denote it as, I'll just take it as M upon N. Any alphabet you can take. Here I am taking it as M upon N. 
So if you have any number in the form m upon n, okay, if you have any number in the form m upon n, such numbers are called as rational numbers. Ah, now there, there is a certain condition that you have to specify. m and n both should be both should be integers. This is a very important point that you have to specify. So what are rational numbers if somebody asks you? Rational numbers are in the form m upon n where m and n both are integers and one more condition n should not be equal to 0. Little confusing? No confusion. As soon as we discuss examples, everything will be fine. What are rational numbers? To define. To define rational numbers are in the form m upon n. Repeat with me. Huh? Rational numbers are in the form m upon n where m and n are integers and there is a condition n should not be equal to 0. So let us discuss examples of these rational numbers. Now, when I told you that m and n, it can be integers. So, we already know what are integers. Integers can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 13, minus 15. Negative, positive, along with 0 are called as integers. Okay. So, how will rational numbers look like? Let me write down the format here. Rational numbers come in the form m upon n m comma n are integers they are integers n should not be equal to 0 this is the condition so now let me take in place of m 4 in place of n I will go for 17 is this rational number yes how will you check you have to check numerator m is integer 4 is an integer correct 17 is integer correct so these this is a rational number. 4 upon 17 is a rational number. One more example. Minus 15 upon 8. Is this a rational number? Again, see the condition. M, that is the numerator, should be an integer. Minus 15. Minus 15, negative numbers are integers? Correct. Huh. So, this is integer. This is integer. So, this is a rational number. Well, next example, I am going for 23. 23. Can this be written in m upon n form? Can this be written in fraction form? m upon n form. If there is nothing onto the denominator, means which number is present there? 1 is present. So, 23 means it is actually 23 upon 1. And now, please check whether this condition is fulfilled. m upon n. Both should be integers. 23 is integer. 1 is integer. Yes. 23 is also integer. 1 is also integer. So, this is also rational number. This is also rational number. This is also rational number. Are you getting an idea about rational numbers? Now, which number is not a rational number? If I write a number in this format, let us suppose minus 13 upon 0 specified that n or the denominator should not be 0. It is specified, no? Numerator and denominator, they both are integers, but the denominator should not be 0. What do you see here? The denominator is 0. So, if the denominator is 0, such number is not defined. It is not defined only. There, there are no such numbers. So, no, there is no proper definition for such numbers. So, this is not defined. So, if you see that the numerator is 0, then this is not a rational number. Why is it not a rational number? Because the denominator is 0. I hope you understood it well. Now, let us discuss few more examples of rational numbers. You frame some examples in your mind. I will show some examples on the board and then we will cross check. Okay. So, before we get into, first you write down the definition of rational number. Give the subheading as rational numbers and write, write it. The numbers in the form m upon n 
the children you can pause your video write it down and start this is how you have to learn with me okay whatever i say you have to write it down whatever i write on the board you have to write it in your book the examples that i discuss you have to write and some points i may ask you specify it and you have to note it in your book now so same way you write down the subheading as rational numbers and define it what are rational numbers write it the numbers in the form m upon n the numbers in the form m upon n are called rational numbers are called rational numbers okay then write where m comma n are integers both are integers but one condition n should not be equal to 0 n should not be equal to 0 so this is the definition of rational number somebody ask you what are rational numbers you have to say this natural numbers counting numbers whole numbers zero along with natural numbers are whole numbers integers positive number negative number along with zero are called as integers so i hope all of you have understood these four types of numbers let us discuss more examples i'll give you examples note it in your book and you tell me which are rational and which are not rational numbers in this list okay i'll keep on writing these are the examples which i gave now let us check what you have to check numerator denominator both should be integers only that is the criteria 14 only numerator no denominator means 1 both are integers yes so this is a rational number what about minus 347 <coughs> minus 347 again upon 1 no number denominator means always 1 will be the denominator both are integers yes so this is a rational number what about 16 upon 5 16 and 5 both are integers both are integers so both are integers means this is also rational number 1 upon 5 1 is integer 5 is integer 19 upon minus 3 19 is a positive integer okay positive number Minus three is a negative number. Both are integers. So both are integers means nineteen upon minus three is also a rational number. What about one forty one upon zero? See, so I have specified it. Denominator is zero. If denominator is zero, then this is not a rational number. Okay, so this is not a rational number. What about the next example? Minus six and minus nine. Minus up and minus down, both will get cancelled. Okay, so now the number is six upon nine. Six and nine, both are integers. Yes, this is a rational number. Twenty-five. Twenty-five is a rational number. Yes, all whole numbers are rational numbers. All whole numbers are rational numbers. So twenty-five is also a rational number. One thousand four hundred and ninety-six. Just to scare you, I gave you a big number. this is also a rational number because no nothing means the denominator is 1 here also nothing means denominator is 1 any number which can be written in the form m upon n and n should not be equal to 0 are rational numbers so i hope so you had enough examples to learn what are rational numbers understood okay children so today in the introduction class we had an idea about rational numbers in the next class we will be representing or will be showing rational numbers on a number line so for the next class you should be ready with scale and pencil and we will be showing rational numbers on a number line hope you understood the introduction class okay till we meet in the next class take care all of you and bye